Hello all and welcome to my channel DevOps Mela. So in this video tutorial we'll talk about agent pool. So till now the agent pool uh, which we were using throughout this tutorial throughout this set series we were using Azure pipelines. Okay. So we didn't had our own agent pool. So this Azure pipeline is good when you're putting resources on all Azure cloud. What if you have data centers, all your servers on data center and you don't want to spend money on Azure pipelines, you have sufficient VMs wherein you can set up your own agent pool. So we'll talk about, we'll set up an, our own agent pool in this tutorial. So if you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe and please like, share and comment. Okay, let's start. I'll be using my Windows machine, my local windows machine and i'll make it as a agent okay same thing same set of commands will definitely work on whether you are using on a windows server you can use the same set of commands okay let's go ahead and see it so we'll be using a microsoft documentation for the same microsoft agent pool just type microsoft agent pool and you should get the documentation okay here we go so there are multiple options microsoft hosted agents which we already saw azure pipeline is a microsoft hosted agent if you want a self-hosted linux agent you can self go in this option mac os agent and windows agent so in this tutorial i'm covering windows agent so let's go and select that there are a few prerequisites which is very minimal like your windows should be windows 7 8.1 or 10 if you're using a client OS on a server, it should be 2008 or higher. Okay. PowerShell should be 3.0 or higher, and you should have a .NET framework 4.6.2 or higher. So all this period, just make sure you you have, you met this prerequisite before moving ahead. Okay. So in my local system, I have all this prerequisite met. So I'm just going ahead. Okay. So firstly, we will just go in the port. Azure DevOps port, portal, go in project settings, I'll go in agent pool, I'll create my own agent pool first, I'll create a new one, there are two options, self-hosted Azure virtual machine skill set, so we'll select self-hosted, I'll give a name as Rohit PC so that I can identify I'm using my own agent pool, description, just give the same description, Grant access. I'm granting this agent pool permission to all my pipelines. Create it. Okay. I think I've used this name, so let's not use this name again. So delete this. Let me create Rohit PC. Just let's you know, Rohit PC. Okay. This is blank. This looks good. Now I click on new agent. So over here you get an option Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. As we are referring to Windows, I'll go and refer Windows itself. You have to download this agent. I've already downloaded. I have this file in my download location. So make sure this is in the download location. I'll tell you the reason why exactly. Copy this and put it over here. Now we'll run this first command in my PowerShell. This is nothing but it is creating a agent directory and it is just changing the directory into agent. It's moving into agent directory. That's it. Nothing much. I'm in C drive right now. I'll just go and run this command. Okay. So right now I'm in agent directory. So let's move in the agent directory. I'll show what exactly happened in the backend. Second, if you read this command, we are just adding the assembly name, system IO compression file system, and we have the zip file. We are extracting the zip file from where we are exactly extracting. We are extracting the home downloads. So that's why I said if you are downloading, make sure it is in download directory, or you have to come go ahead and make changes over here. Okay. And this is the file, it's already there in my download location. 
you want to see it here we go this is a file which is already present so i just copy this entire thing from here i'll run it in my powershell see i got the binaries and i got two uh, config and a run created and i have my external folders created over here so this has all the binaries and all all the information right over here now there are two more commands let me just copy that and keep it i have this config command to run to configure my agent and i have this run command to start my services okay that's it let's close this i don't need this now so this command is already done and it was successful let's go and see what all information we have in the folder so we have the binaries external folder and we have the config and okay things looking good right now now let's go and run the config command okay it is asking for a url this is the url your your devops url i'll get that i'll put it again now it is asking for the authentication type so it's asking press enter for pat so pat is nothing but it's personal access token so we need to generate that first let's go back click over here user settings personal access token let's create on new token let's name it as rohit pc itself expiration you can select your expiration you can customize all the scopes and you can give the required permissions but for now i'll just give full access and i'll click on create i'll copy this pat token in case if you have no, if you forgot to copy or if you somehow you have not copied it if you want you can just come back over here you can regenerate your token okay the previous one will get wiped out and the new token will be generated okay let me paste this token right over here we may use it multiple times coming back to this screen i'll just hit enter i'll put the token okay it is asking for an agent pool name okay if i just hit enter it will select default as my agent pool name but we have created an agent pool so i will give a name but i'll show you default before that so if i just hit enter this particular agent pool my agent will start running in this particular pool okay but i don't want to do that i have created rohit pc as an agent pool so i'll just give that name rohit pc agent name i'll just repeat the same name scanning for tool capabilities so let's wait for a while it may it will hardly take 5 10 minute sorry seconds enter work folder underscore work that is totally fine enter perform and unzip for task for each step not required enter run agent as service so if i select yes okay it will start running this agent pool will start running as a service on my local system this option is valid if you are hosting an agent pool on a dedicated vm virtual machine on my local system i'm just for this just just for this demo i'm creating it later i'll just remove it so i don't need this for now i just hit, hit enter and enter configuration auto login and run agent on startup again not needed for my local machine this this option is valid when you are running this on a dedicated host okay this is uh, completed my agent pool is still not running because we have selected no as an option 
So I'll just run this command so that my agent will start. So that my agent will start listening and we can run our pipelines. Scanning for tool capabilities. Connecting to server, listening for jobs. Okay, now let's go and test our agent pool now. Go to pipeline. This is one of my build pipeline for SQL DB build. I'll edit this. I'll go and change the agent pool as if now it is Azure pipelines. Now in my drop down, I have Rohit PC as well. I've selected that. I'll save and immediately I'll run it and check whether my agent pool is running or not so if you see I'm getting an output running job agent job 1 so agent job 1 is running right now let's see so my build is successful now and I'm getting a prompt job agent job 1 completed with the result succeeded okay now I'll go back and see the same agent pool we can use it even in our release pipeline so I'll just go and modify this I can select my release pipeline my task will not work because I don't don't have this DAC pack database servers up and running but my connection will get established if I want I can just go ahead and click on create release and I'll start my release pipeline it's in queue right now now let's see if we are getting any message over here okay running job agent job started so this agent job has started and it will get succeeded or it will fail depending upon what all task i have but i have okay even my release uh, pipeline was successful using my agent pool so if i go and see this is the agent pool what we have used that was my agent name Okay, let, let me go ahead and remove it. So once my work is done, because this is hosted on my local system, I will go and stop this agent pool. Do a control C. Yes, terminate. Now if I go back, There's a command to remove this complete setup. So I'll just go back and run this command now. Remove. It will ask for authentication again. So we'll use the same PAT token. So the same PAT token. okay remove succeeded so that's it from this video tutorial if you like it please share and subscribe thank you goodbye